There we go. Oh my. What? Oh, that is a body. All right, we have returned to Backbone Prologue here. First video went up. It was just a demo of the game, obviously it still is, but um, you guys seem to enjoy it enough when we complete the entire thing, so why not do so? I just loaded up right now to kind of get this going on, because I'm trying to remember what I did last time. I know I got kicked out of the bite. But good god, I know I talked a lot about it before, but I'm gonna do it again. I cannot get over how freaking good this looks. I'm looking at this little rainy puddle effect in front of the bear right there, too. It's so freaking good. Alright. Um... I mean, I was hoping that we could just talk about the fact that you threw me out of there, but no. Alright, well, either way, if we come back over here, it seems like I was kicked out. Um, for the most part, I do believe it is inevitable. You do get kicked out no matter what you do, but, um, we have to... Find a way back inside will be our objective over here, because we think they're hiding something. I mean, obviously, we are looking for the otter. That is our case here at the moment. So, I think now we probably rely on the help of a friend, or at least a long-lost friend. Larry, the fellow raccoon such as myself, we also have this guy who we are not in speaking terms with, apparently. We have an intercom. We have Florence as well. I don't think you were here the first time, right? Larry told us something about deliveries from the back. Let's try this one out. What you looking at? Nothing, just wondering why you're there, that's all. Are you alright? I don't want trouble. I just need to get into that building there. No, nothing, I'm sorry. Well, she doesn't look to be good. I'm fine. What's it to you anyway? Listen, Florence, is that right? You don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. Never mind, listen. I just need to get into that building right there. Piss off. I told you, I'm not leaving till I get her back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Heh, <sighs> right. Make it like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir, I'm on to you. And I'm not moving from this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. So your daughter probably works in the club, huh? Are you looking for your daughter? <laughs> That's what she just said. I'm no fool. I know she's in there. But she doesn't want to talk to me, no? That's not. They won't let me see her. Listen, I mean you no harm. You just look like you could use some help. She had the bite. I'll keep an eye out for her if I manage to get in. Do you know nothing of them thugs? What thugs? I'm really here on my own business. What sort of business? I need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Try the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. What code? I memorized it. Great fire, damn me, I looked at the wrong schedule, let me in. My daughter, in that filthy... They won't let me talk to her. What's she doing in there? Kit decides she's gonna make it on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her, I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Gray fur. Name's Rosie. No, name's Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She's just turned 20, you see. Didn't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm gonna burn this stitch to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bite before? Told me she was waitressing. Liar. I asked around. This glitch is a filthy drug den for whores. Freaking liar. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Do you know any other way to get in? No, I've heard voices up on the roof. But how do you get there? Okay, so didn't really help, help us too much here. Alright, alright. The truck right there just arrived and some dudes entered through the back door. Also, I hear voices coming from the roof. They must have a rooftop door. Tell me about the rooftop. Well, I mean, the, the, the Florence mentioned the rooftop as well. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you gonna get on the roof? Bribe security? Is there a fire escape? You could give me a lift. <laughs> Maybe I could climb it from here. Nah. There's no fire escape and the bite's too high. Are there any smaller structures you can climb first? The press stand. 
Whoa there! That could work. I can start with it, then go to Mackenzie's and proceed along the rules, but you should know that bow is kind of, um... Dig Nugget. It's the most accurate description of bow I've heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up to it. Preston was all the way at the very end of the street. Not sure if um, I left that interaction in the video with the first one. If I did not, it's probably just because um, I didn't really have anything poignant to the story. But let's see, now we need to do this again. Back so soon? What now? <laughs> Don't mind me, I just need to climb the stand. Hey Bo, I was hoping you could help me out. I don't know, I'm quite busy. Won't take a minute, I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not! Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo. I need this for work. What if I could offer you something in return? The stand will be fine, Bo. In any case, I promise to pay for any damages. Let's not kid ourselves, we both know you're broke as a goose. What if I could offer something else as a collateral? My PI skills, for example? Now that you mention it, maybe you could help me out with the little issue I've been having. I'm almost afraid to ask. What do you have in mind? You see that hawker over there at my Mackenzie's? I want him off Granville. Who? That Pika with the cot. He's just a kid. Why is he a problem? He really gets on your nerves, huh? Why don't you call the police if he's doing something illegal? Well, here comes this rodent who doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent, or utilities. He undercuts my prices by a ridiculous amount and ends up stealing my business. How are, you how are you so sure he's avoiding allowance, though? There's no way someone who allows properly can make a profit off these prices. What do you want me to do about it? I want that damn rodent off Granville. Can you take care of that? It's not really what I do, Bo. All I'm saying is, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, if that's fair. Fine, I'll do it. Okay. Dude with a card, apparently, huh? Oh, you. Yeah, when we ran by just now, I... You weren't here the first time, I don't think. Sid. Feeling peckish? I've got a sweet and savory. You can mix and match, make your own trail mix. How about it? Listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Yeah, you got some unshelled pumpkin seeds? Sorry, kid. I need you to pack up and go sit up elsewhere. Let's go with the second one. Of course! Got salted and unsalted, each bag is worth a half loon, but I'll give you three for a loon, it's a steal. I'll take one. Listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Uh, okay. Could you leave Granville? Just straight up leave. Do you mind doing that, at least for tonight? You got places out there in Granville where you set up shop, right? Well, do you have a seller's permit? I mean, do we want to cater to this guy's maybe like, you know, non-so-aggressive side or just um, be a scumbag about it? <laughs> Let's go with this one, why not? Why do you want to know? You're not a cop. Look, Bo's been talking about you to anyone who'll listen. Just saying, allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime. Do as I ask, kid. Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to make a living here. I'm not hurting anyone. Yeah, no, look, I feel bad about it, dude, but uh, unfortunately, I need to get under the roof. Sorry, kid, but I'm trying to make a living, too. As Bo's hired muscle? It's none of your business. Now move on. Whatever, man. I hope you fall off a flight of stairs or something. Well, I'm gonna be on a roof really soon, so I hope you haven't just cursed me. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Yes, we were scummy about it. Could we have been probably nice and just asked him to move? Maybe. All right, we even got the entire animation for it, too. Look at this, dude. I really wanted to get a, look, a good look at the background as well. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Foxy Burger. So this is a really, really good look at the bank, assuming it scrolls upwards as well. Oh, is it's going to stop? Eh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a view. All right. Is there a chance that I could fall and kill myself is my only other concern at the moment. I think that's it, green bastard. You better be there. All right, we have um, snuck in. You can't keep a good raccoon down, is what I say. We have a teapot. Parsley brew, also known as anti-baby potion. Yep, bites. Oh, I, I see what you're getting at. Okay. This should be bite second floor. 
Staff room for girls. Maybe I'll find something useful to lead me to green. Or some sort of evidence. Hmm. Taking time off, Rose? Give me a call. Darling, could you take a minute to clean? Rose. Alright, we'll take that for sure. That's, um, the daughter, right, of the... The rabbit girl outside? Alright, we're outside now. Maybe we should, um, practice a little bit of the old sneak. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, I... Got it. The stank is coming from the end of the hall. Green might be there. But I have to be careful not to get caught. This guy looks like the most cliched... Villain of all time, that rat does. Can I... Oh my god, what's happening over there? Oh boy. Some fine action in happening behind those veils right there. I right, cliche cartoon rat villain. Move on out of the way. Crap, I missed him. He's just been here. Can smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help with that. Alright, let's stand up here. Anybody here? No. Got a painting back there. Green's green hat. Cute. That must be monkey bud. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. A green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budget? What the secret lift? And green went in there? I wonder what's on the other side. The hell is this place? What are they burning here? Clothes? Burning clothes, yeah. Yeah, that can't be good. That's like burning evidence there for a reason, right? Scissors. Should take these in case I need to cut something to get out of here. Or someone. Jeez. Alright. A freezer. Green water and ice cream? Doesn't make sense. Gotta keep digging. Inventory, delivery schedule, what's this? Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note, or you mess up the inventory. Took honey. Alright, somebody took honey. It's an intercom connected to the other room in the building. There's a list of extensions close by. Dial bar, dial freezer. Um, dial kitchen? I guess if we're in the freezer, we should be in the kitchen next door, right? Kitchen listening. Um, you suck. How are you doing? I want to order a large pizza pineapple on top. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Wait up. Who is this? Don't move. Okay, maybe we sneak in through here. Always wonder when I'd end up in a place like this. Yippee ki. That's odd. Three cooks. I can't get caught now. All right, so need to sneak on by, huh? Let's turn this mixer on. Maybe alert him. Yo, buddy. Gotta turn that mixer off. Just turn it on by itself. Isn't it kind of weird? We got wires here. Hmm. Would this draw you over here? Yeah. Yeah, and it's 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 really odd. Yeah, the, the kitchen's suddenly haunted. You might as well go back to work though. Set these wires. Yo, that boy over there ain't moving. Okay, so it turns out, I believe, the last guy, he's the guy who comes to check out the kitchen. Therefore, Dial Kitchen, you suck. Piss him off a little bit. He's coming now. And now we just gotta... Race on. There he goes. So we gotta be really quick about this is a problem. Oh, you guys are still over there. Perfect. This gives us enough time. Ooh, close. Got through. Spec locker. Gregory, could you maybe keep your paper... papers on your locker? Maybe. Here's a family favorite, Ape's Delight. Citizen... Okay, we probably have a puzzle here of some kind, but... Alright, we have a square, circle, diamond... Triangle, I guess. And we do have... papers with holes in them. Well, what kind of stands out to me right now is the fact that we have... Yeah, you see, we have these papers with the holes in them. 
but they're the same size as some of these uh, things over here, right? So, I mean, of course, we could also do the... Oh, but there's no... Oh, I see. Five diamond. Okay, so maybe... Do you guys fit the... You guys seem to fit here. Four circle. I see. Okay, okay. Square would be four. So we're looking for... This would be the square right here. So square is apparently zero. So we're looking at zero. Circle would be four. So... Zero, four, diamond, it's five. So zero, four, five, and triangle would be this boy over here. That's a one. So we got zero, four, five, one is what I think we have here. Now, what the hell do we use that for? It's a very good question. Something tells me freight. we have a freight and we have a code lock. Let's try zero, four, five, one. Your boy's done it. He's a genius. I'm a very dark place now. Okay. Nothing to inspect. There we go. Oh my. What? Oh, that is a body. Yo. Green. He's dead. What have you gotten yourself into? Somebody's coming. Quick, I have to hide. Whoa, 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 where, where, where? Where do I hide? In the trash? <laughs> How fitting for a raccoon. Well, that kind of sizes up why they were burning clothes as well. Packages? No, can't interact with that, apparently. Sorry, Jess. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. The turnkey. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Can't do much with packages. Sorry, we gotta get out of here, apparently. They're eating people. Howard, run. Now, okay, we're just running. They're, they're, I mean, people's debatable, but I, I, I get what you're saying. Okay, so, they're eating people, they're burning clothes. Quite an operation. Use the lift? Well, we had the key, right? Okay. Um, nothing here, nothing here. Escape. I imagine the discovery of cannibals would probably make some people sick to the stomach, sure. And I think that's the end of the prologue, huh? Well, there you guys have it. Backbone prologue is complete. Introduces to the characters. And what started off as just a regular PI case about infidelity has turned into a club that is eating people. That ought to whet your appetite for the full game. Pun intended, yes, absolutely. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a free download of a demo, so check it out for yourselves. Maybe there's different paths you could probably take. Maybe you could go back to Rosie's mother with the item. Who knows? But hey, feel free to check it out. This comes out next year, I believe, as a full product. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, maybe we'll come back and check out the full product once it's available. I will catch you next time.